Hi, it's Jack Woodrup from verticaljumping.com and today I'm going to talk about an exercise that I think is very versatile and very bene beneficial for athletes wanting to jump higher, particularly those who jump off one leg, so your single leg jumpers out there, and that is the step up. Um, the step up is a weapon of choice for uh, world famous high jumper Stefan Holm. He said to do them with 100 plus kilos, which is pretty heavy. Uh, doesn't seem to have done his jumping any harm. Anyway, so we'll have a look at the weighted step up first and then we'll do some explosive or ballistic step ups and we'll look at some of the considerations. The first consideration for doing a step up is choosing a box height. Now, as you can see, if I've chosen a box height where my working leg here is slightly above parallel, um, now the reason I've done that is that the higher the box, the more hamstring and glute emphasis you get. Um, and I think this is a very good exercise for single leg jumpers because it works the glutes and hamstrings. So I like to use a box that is slightly above parallel for this. Um, the lower the box, if you have a box that is sort of that, that keeps your leg at parallel or below, it tends to provide more emphasis on the quads, um, which I don't really want to do for this exercise. The next consideration is your back leg will have a tendency to push off the ground, which sort of drives drives you up a little bit. Now you can get too much push off if you're not careful. I don't think you can ever eliminate it entirely. But one of the things you can do to minimize how much push off your rear leg gives you is by raising your heel off the ground slightly just before you start each rep. Now what that does means you can only really get a little bit of push from your ankles and that's a good way of minimizing that. The last thing to do when you're doing your step up reps is bring your trailing leg up on a follow through and that will get the glute of the working leg to really contract at the top so you will come up and bring the knee up and that gets that glute really working. Now the other consideration for step ups is what sort of weight to use or how to load it. Now you can use basically any of the well known methods to add resistance to the step up. I'm going to use a sandbag today just because it's nice and easy but for heavier weights I would use a barbell or dumbbells or a weight vest, even some kettlebells, um, or a combination thereof. Um, you can really make, pretty much use anything as long as it's something that you can add progress to as you get stronger. In terms of reps for single leg exercises like a step up or a split squat, I prefer to keep the reps slightly higher. There's a, a greater stability factor in, uh, in single leg exercises than there is for squats and deadlifts. With squats and deadlifts, I'm very happy to um, prescribe sort of heavy singles and heavy doubles using sort of near max loads for strength um, or even sub, sub max but more reps um, but for single leg exercises because of the extra stability required I generally like to use a slightly lighter load and keep the reps in between the sort of four to seven or five to eight range um, just so that you are able to do the exercises with less uh, balance problems. If you're, if you're struggling to do them or you haven't gotten used to doing them yet, it's better to do a few more reps with a lighter weight and get that stability developed first. So with that said, let's do a couple of reps and you can basically see how they're done. I don't know if you saw in that from the video or not, but a couple of those reps were a little bit shaky and that's why I don't like to do maximum loads uh, for single reps. Because using a very heavy load, if you do become unbalanced, you're more likely to injure yourself or have an accident in the gym. Anyway, that is the weighted step up. The next step up version is the explosive or ballistic step up. Now again, this is one of my favorite jumping exercises as well because you can do it pretty much anywhere. You don't need any special equipment. I'm just doing it off a bench, but you can do it off boxes, you can do it off fences, you can do it anywhere, which is why I like it so much. Uh, and it really is great for teaching you how to really drive force through your feet on the takeoff. If you're a single leg jumper and you're you know, doing your takeoff, you really want to drive through the ground at takeoff, and this is a great exercise for doing that. Now, I generally like to use a light load 
and that could be in the form of holding a medicine ball or wearing a weight vest. As with all weighted jumps, I don't like to load too much. The emphasis isn't about how much weight you can do the explosive step up with, but more about adding a little bit of resistance to overload the muscles more than they would if you were just using a body weight. You still want to have an emphasis on speed of movement, not necessarily on weight. So we'll do a couple of reps for this one. As you can see, I'm doing a scissor version. You can just do a normal version as well. I think the scissor version works a bit better from uh, balance, but it doesn't really matter either way. Now, a common question I get from Vertical Mastery customers is, in their workouts for a single leg step up or, or any single leg exercise, um, is if the workout says you know, four sets of five reps or four sets of six reps, is that three reps with the left leg and three reps with the right leg? Or is it six with the left and six with the right equals one set? Well, any time you see in your vertical mastery programs for a single leg exercise, five reps or six reps or however many reps it says, it's always talking about per leg. So it's six reps with the left leg followed by six reps with the right leg. So that's a common question I get asked. So if you're watching this video and you're using the software program, now you know. Anyway, that is step ups. It's a great exercise. Um, if you're doing, looking for a good single leg exercise for your jump training program, give it a go. I think you'll be uh, pretty delighted with the results. Anyway.